What's going on you guys? Slim here with a new deck profile today for you guys. What I have is Eldritch Dragoon for this new January 2021 format. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell. You guys will be notified when I upload. You guys will be notified when I stream over on Twitch. Link is in the description. While you're down there in the description, consider joining my Discord. If you're going to purchase any of the cards you see here in this profile, please use my TCG player link because as you know, a portion of what you spend goes back to the channel. It helps me out and I really do appreciate it. And last but not least, if you want to further support me in the channel, consider joining my patreon all those links are in the description below with all that out of the way you guys let's get into this eldritch dragoon is easily one of the craziest builds of this deck while it isn't a 60 card list it is a very concise 40 card list that gets the job done the emphasis on dragoon having the eldritch engine having powerful trap cards makes this deck extremely strong this format it's very well suited against the whole meta and it's a deck that i first saw at the last lcs i net decked it i'm not going to sit here and act like i came up with the idea because of course your boy is new to the Eldritch cards and I needed to see all the variants that were possible and this build is just amazing I saw Dinka boy pilot this he ended up getting top 16 and I believe he had a teammate or a friend that also made it all the way to top 8 with this build and I tested this build a lot over on Twitch because I just wanted to test it out see how the Eldritch cards work see how Dragoon works in conjunction with it and so far it's been insane the deck's pretty consistent it's very good at what it does shooting out Dragoon using the Eldritch engine using your trap cards it's just overwhelming the opponent and that's what I really like about this deck especially in this format but without Without further ado, we're going to get into, into it. Be sure to smash that like button if you enjoy for more deck profiles. So, it's broken down, of course, into engines as we do. And, of course, we got to start with the Eldritch engine. So, we got to start with the two Golden Boy. Um, this, this isn't pure. You don't need to run more than two. But you definitely need the second one. It definitely comes up, especially with all the hand traps that hit the graveyard this format. You don't want to be out of Golden Lord in any situation. Of course, the Triple Cursed Eldlin, you need this. Uh, just one of your main like starter cards for the deck. And then, of course, the usual suspects of the uh, Scarlet Sanguine, the Conquistador, and there are three Hequero in this build since uh, more emphasis is placed on the Eldritch engine. It's just probably one of the most insane engines to come out uh, in the game in a really long time. It keeps you in the game. The grind game is very strong. And this deck is just insane. Like It's crazy how just a single Golden Lord can, be, like, can turn the tide of an entire game, but it's functionality like discarding this with even one of your or, uh, golden land cards or just any other card to send a card is ridiculous so this engine amazing definitely uh, makes the deck what it is and I absolutely love this engine I'm so happy I listened to you guys and finally picked it up because I've been having a blast trying out all these decks with it so very very just amazing engine in general on to the red eyes engine so similar to the 60 card list we are playing the full red eyes engine which comes in the form of three Red Eyes Fusion, three Red Eyes Insight, the Dark Magician, the Red Eyes Black Dragon, and the Red Eyes Wyvern. So, similar to the 60 card list, but of course 20 cards less because we are playing 40 cards in this deck. You want to see Dragoon. Dragoon really is like your game plan. You know, kind of like my boy Trip always says, stick to the game plan. The game plan is to stick a Dragoon, use the Eldritch Engine, and just overwhelm the opponent. And that's what this deck does. Well, this is all the monsters. Like, you look at the deck and you think, wow, there's only five monsters. In reality, there's only two. Like, honestly, Golden Lord is like the only real monster if you're not counting the trap monsters in the Eldritch cards. But that's all you really need. You the, the, the game plan is, you know, get to a Dragoon. Once Dragoon sticks, Dragoon plus Eldritch card is very hard for the opponent to deal with. The discard for Dragoon. Dragoon's effect can also be an Eldritch card, which can net you more advantage. Having the insight to send the Wyvern is great as well, because I've mentioned this in previous profiles, but Wyvern can sometimes reborn a Dragoon if it was actually destroyed, or reborn the vanilla Red Eyes Black Dragon if you didn't uh, summon or set a monster that turn. So it's pretty crazy. This engine is amazing. You use it for consistency. You use it so that you can turbo out to Dragoon, because the, go the goal plan is just literally turbo to Dragoon, and like I said, have the Eldritch engine to back you up, and you're good to go. So that's why we max out on the full red eyes engine and it's extremely strong especially in this format dragoon is just a ridiculous card and one of the main reasons i wanted to profile this is because we don't know how much longer we're going to have dragoon but your boy is going to play it for as long as i can until the card inevitably does get hit on one of these upcoming ban lists to the power spell cards of this deck does play again this is an extra deck which is which is kind of mind-blowing when you think about it but honestly when your main monster is dragoon you just have to max out on it this card is too good not to play like getting that plus is ridiculous it just helps you just dig further and further into your deck and that's all you really need to do with this deck uh this is a format dependent card but i do like the fact that they played three cosmic cyclone testing this out i didn't think it was going to be that good i was definitely wrong very good in the mirror matches very good against problematic cards good against lost world good against uh just anything that can really get in 
in your way. It can banish the schism, uh, the schism if you're playing against Shadals or any form like that. Just very good in general. Also, some cool interactions against any invoke kind of decks. They go invocation. You can actually cyclone it away. And then even if they do stick the Macaba, they're not getting the invocation back. So that can be huge. So just remember that. And then to make sure all our plays go off, we are playing the one called by the grave. Again, it's at one. I would play more if I could, but we want our deck and all our combos to resolve. The main card they're going to hit uh, with Ash is most likely the Red Eyes Fusion or maybe even the Insight, or they're going to try to use Bell or Crow or Skullmeister or any kind of graveyard hand trap against our Eldritch cards. But with Call by the Grave, we just, uh, you know, we run the, uh, the gamble of trying to just stop them before they get the chance to do that to us. So there's that. And then, of course, the trap cards. Now, these trap cards are very concise very simple traps that just get the job done probably one of my favorite traps this format is actually solemn strikes i'm very glad it's in this deck it's very strong against the whole format dragoon plus strike like i've said is pretty much game against any deck it's so hard for most decks to deal with that along with the triple torrential this is easily one of the best traps this whole format people overextend it's basically it, it like can do what nibiru does but sometimes better because you can do it uh, you don't have to wait for the fifth summon you can sometimes just stop them in their tracks it's also very good against like a deck that's normal summon reliant like zoo they normal summon you know if you don't don't have anything else torrential them they can't get to their zoo monster they can't get to their zoo so you're good to go so torrential has just been amazing and testing and then the last uh normal trap card is the ice dragon's prison now again i've said this in multiple profiles this isn't good against drytron but it's good against everything else it's also an out to dragoon which is crazy you're gonna see mirror matches you're gonna see decks that emphasize dragoon my brother johnny is playing invoke dragoon so i can tell you right now any deck that plays dragoon you want to have ice dragon's prison easy one of the best cards going first and even going second i could just tear apart decks doesn't talk Target. it's just amazing absolutely love it and then i think the bread the bread and butter that just held this whole deck together and i just thought this was so cool for it to be the 40th card because we're at 39 cards right now is that there is one copy of trap trick because trap trick is literally extra copies of your prison extra copies of your torrential extra copies of your uh, scarlet sanguine it's just amazing and it keeps the deck a nice concise 40 and it's very very effective so shout out to dinka boys shout out to any of the people that piloted this deck and it was brought to my attention because i absolutely love what you guys did with this deck it's been testing amazing especially for someone who's such who's so new to the eldritch engine this just really opened my eyes to how powerful eldritch and dragoon can really be this format so that is the whole deck you guys like i said it is 40 cards it is very consistent um now of course you're going to run the risk of drawing your vanillas but you know it is what it is if you hard draw red eyes fusion with it you can still use it so it's fine but you just want to have a very consistent deck if you're not trying to play the 60 card deck with like 20 different engines but hey we play that too so you already know we had to try every variant possible but on to the extra deck before we go uh, extra deck, you gotta play three Red Eyes Dragoon. This is just the best card in the deck. I don't know why this card was ever printed. I don't know how much longer this card's gonna be here, but for as long as this card can still be here, you already know your boy is gonna play it. One of the coolest things we get to play is the double copies of Pallades. This comes up because of our Golden Land monsters. They're both level 5, so being able to get them out, make a Pallades, bounce a card is crazy. Also trigger them in the graveyard is just fantastic. This could be a real problem for people because you literally can just stop whatever they're doing and bounce it. And bouncing is so much better than destroying stuff this format. So Pallades, fantastic. It gets banished a lot off extra, but hey, that's why we play two copies. I wouldn't max out on it. Uh, the most interesting card they played, and to be honest, this is, this is kind of the flex spot. They played the number 81, the Dora, Dora the Explorer. Uh, this card is basically like, it's impenetrable when you summon it in defense. You just It's unaffected by other card effects except its own. To be honest, I would rather play Gustav Max. I think Gustav Max would be a better substitute. Just because if you ever actually get two Golden Lords out and you don't finish the game, that extra 2,000 burn can be the difference between you winning and losing. And to be honest, I'm not really going to overlay my Golden Lords. That's just how I've been playing. I'd probably rather play Gustav Max. But since I have it tested it, I have I have made the Dora like once in like 20 games so i mean it is what it is it usually gets banished off extra and yeah but i mean it's in there that's what they played i wanted to test it out i don't really have anything great to say about it but I, i'm just saying i'll probably go forward playing uh the playing the gustav max why not burn him for 2000 and win the game uh one of the most important cards in this deck the link spider i've talked about this before in the 60 card deck you just turn your uh eldritch trap monsters into link spider you're good to go so there's that and then the really cool card that they play another level one target the m duck so for people who don't know this is you just turn one of your tokens into it put an extra monster zone say that there's a monster here say that there's a monster here wherever you point this if it attacks it automatically is able to destroy it so that's pretty crazy it's just an automatic out i actually used it in one of my games uh, that you guys saw on stream just to out a problematic card without having to deal with it so card's really cool i like it you know it's only a one of it it's fine and then i play with only the one copy of verde when it does come up it can come up you make the link spider another monster you can make it obviously dragoon 
and then my, one of my favorite cards ever uh, i just i don't know why this card hasn't been reprinted it needs to be reprinted i would play multiple if i could but i only have one copy one copy is all you need it'll come up in random situations so i like to have it and then the last four cards are just literally food for dogmatica two copies of the entis of course the pop cards and then the macabre and the cyber dragon nova because if they use maximus on us we send this we summon macabre they're in trouble but that's it for the deck profile you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to give the video a thumbs up let me know your thoughts on the deck we'll definitely improve it on it and make more changes to it and just make it one of the best decks of the format as we continue going forward but that's all i got for today you guys i'll see you guys tomorrow for my twitch stream be sure to check the links in the description below to join that and join my discord and i'll see you guys in the next video and the next stream thank you for watching